Florida. Weissman is the lone setback. Mark is the senior out of Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Rudolph, the play action rollout, will drop it off to one of his tight ends, Jake Doozy. Well, Jake Rudock returned from injury last week to solidify his job as the starting quarterback as he helped the Hawkeyes put up a season-high 45 points in their win against Indiana. That included a 72-yard touchdown pass, Iowa's longest. Maryland, if we slow down this play, this particular play, if we can stop it, force them to do something else, we'll have a chance to make them go to their second or third option. Backfield. This is Damon Bullock with the catch. The stiff arm to get inside. Start out with it on their own 20. And Damon Bullock, who's been out the last couple of games, limited carries, is back out there to run it. We'll see a host of different guys in the backfield, and Bullock is wide open at the 40. And he will take it deep into Maryland territory, finally wrapped up inside the 30 to the 20. For time today where the linebackers were a little slow getting to where, they, where they're supposed to be, and that time there was just a mix-up between Gorey and Ferran, they're all going to the same side. Follow Today, both quarterbacks know the batting order. It's not a case of Rudock looking over his shoulder, but offensive coordinator Greg Davis told me Bethard adds a run element to the offense, and with Rudock's injuries in the past, he deserves Iowa, they have on more than one occasion gone for it on fourth down. In fact, Mark Weissman himself is six for six on fourth downs. They're usually five. They must not have any kicker at all right now and zero confidence in this. It's a first down for the Hawkeyes. Seeing if they can get wide and cover these, these guys in the flats, and they're not doing a good job so far. On the boot, touchdown, Henry Krager Koble. Fourth down gamble. Yard reception for Bullock, a career long, and they finish it off to the tight end, Krager Koble into the backfield. Rudolph stepping up. Taken down at the 41. Monroe led the charge. Bowers had a hand on. The stop on first down, getting them off track a little bit, getting them behind schedule, sets up the second and long. And now Iowa has to stand in the pocket with Rudolph and do something that they're not necessarily. Empty back. Back across midfield, and he will come up short. This is another throw to the running back, and that's for Rand in coverage. You can see he gives up some yards, but because it's a third and long, it's okay. Back was in a 3-4 have to contain. Rudock stays perfect through the air, finds his tight end across the middle again, out to midfield, and Jake Rudock, seven for seven. Not a bad combo. Yeah, I think Big Ten fans are going to love the addition of uh, road trips to Maryland and to Rutgers. You've got uh, New York, Baltimore, D.C. And right now, the Maryland defense is in some pressure. Yeah, and that sheriff getting beat. You can see the movement by the Maryland defensive line. They've come alive here. These past couple drives, they've, they've come alive, got some pressure on Rudolph, getting him out of the pocket, setting up a third and long situation. This is these tight ends. their receivers much. The catch is going to the tight ends and to Damon Bullock out of the backfield. Rudolph hit as he releases and that will flutter short of the intended receiving for eight. And then Guacway is he, he's too athletic for Sheriff and he's beat him a couple times. You can see here he just throws a swim move. Gets him moving upfield as he drives. He's one of the athletes that has caused troubles for Rudolph standing in the pocket. Rudak, good protection, will step up and run with it. The nice cutback, and Jake diving forward appears to have for Rudak. Yeah, nice play by Rudak here, recognizing there's just nowhere. Don't take a chance with this football. Sees a crease open, then he just has to be an athlete. Just has to make one guy miss, get around, and get a first down. Nice play, nice effort. Line up to the left. Play action, looking for the tight end. And off the end of the line, it's Jake Doozy. Second and nine, Rudak. 
tried to set up the screen for Ken Nine, but this may already be two down. Incomplete. Had some time on first down. Rudock headed for the sideline to stop the clock. Ten seconds. Five wide again. Second down. Rudock firing it deep down the middle behind the tight end. Jake Maryland has gone into full prevent mode. They've got five guys inside their own 35-yard line. Rudock bobbled and then dropped across the middle at the 40 as time expires by Doozy. Time here at Bird Stadium, 17 unanswered. Rudock, who started out the game six for six, hit on two of his seven passes in the second quarter. The offense sputtered after those two early scoring drives. They'll try and get it back on track. Weissman out of the backfield, out to the 45-yard line. There is the story for the Iowa offense, those first two drives, one of them with a short field off of the turnover, another one, an 80-yard scoring drive, but since then, 20 plays, just 58 yards. They've been rushing for nearly 200 yards through their first two Big Ten wins. Held well under 100 in that first half. Rudock to the air, incomplete. He still does not... Wanted to go after the linebackers in coverage from Maryland. On this last play, Weissman goes to the to the flat. Gorey, the linebacker, doesn't like, which lets you know how good they were with the tight ends and the backs. And if Maryland can shut that down, it's going to be tough for the passing game for Iowa to get going. Rudock had some trouble with the snap. Completes it to his tight end, Ray Hamilton at the 40. <laughs> Blitz coming right up the middle. Rudock hit as he fires. It's incomplete. Sean Davis, the junior out of Washington, D.C., their leading tackler this year. It's a third and seven, and, and you want to you get your guys involved. You want to bring your, your safeties down. You want to put pressure on Rudock. Do not give him a chance to stand in the pocket. Make him throw this ball away. Get out of his hands. Really nice play call. A nice effort. Iowa's offense back to work. Parker. There's the motion man joining Kanziri in the backfield. They'll fake it to him. And it's Kanziri out of the backfield, and he dropped it incomplete. Rudock rolls incomplete. The linebacker he has at Rudock makes him get it out. And now they're two for nine on third down because when they get in these third and long situations, that's not where they're comfortable, and Maryland's sending the blitz when they see it. What a turn in front. They have lost at least temporarily their starting quarterback, C.J. Brown. Jake Rudock and the Iowa offense have scored on their first couple of drives. They have been stymied since. Rudock on the rollout. Flag is down, and the pass is incomplete. First and 20 after the penalty. Rudock with the empty set. And the catch is made by Tavon Smith. The first catch of the game for an honest eight drives, Joey, just 94. And the big problem is they're getting off Rudock in the backfield. That's when they send their blitzes, and this is where I has not been very good. Rudock to Doozy. Gets back out. In the backfield, you don't have to worry about that at linebacker, so you can send these blitz, and all you got to do is take care of the tight end. Rudock. Incomplete. Bro need the 41. Rudock, catch is made by Martin Manley, and the forward progress will get him the first down. Catch inside, outside, inside, outside. Play action off of Weissman, and Rudock runs out of time. Kilgo coming right up. Just pressure Rudock. There's only two wide receivers out in this route. Both guys were covered, and Kilgo creases the offensive line and gets after Rudock. Perry Hills has been in at quarterback since. But right now it's Iowa with the ball. And on third down, Rudock's pass is broken up incomplete. And out on that sideline in a will we or won't we situation right now. See Brown back in at quarterback at some point in the fourth quarter. Rudock's pass through the hands of Tavon Smith. 
He started out seven for seven, Joey, and since he's six for 19. Well, the seven for seven were to tight ends. They were to backs. They were out in the flat. They were the nice short throws that were nice and easy. Since then, he's been put in situations where it's third and long. He's had to stand in the pocket. That's not the strength of the Iowa offense. And you see they start off struggle. Here comes the blitz. The pass away caught by Smith. knew that as well watching a lot of tape all week and he had a lot of C.J. Beathard in different games this year for Iowa but it stays with Jake still plenty of time for the Hawkeyes and not much time for the quarterback right there Could have they been up front? I mean, since those first couple drives in the game, their front has been outstanding. In a third and long, third and long situation, they've been three. They're three of 13, and these are the long ones. These are the ones where Rudolph standing in the pocket, four wide receivers on the field is not Iowa style. Rudolph against the three-man rush has time. This is Bullock makes one man miss, gets out across the 20. Nice job of getting out of the pocket when it's time to throw the ball. First and ten, a quick hitter to Bullock. And have them lined up with the line. They couldn't keep up with these running backs. Now they're playing a little bit more zone, so all you have to do is tackle the guy that's in your area. Hold it! Rudolph, incomplete, and uh, to make matters worse, I think. Not been at his best in, in this game, especially not on that play. Tavon Smith with the catch back out to the 15. To convert on, and I was struggling. Rudock hit as he throws. The catch is made by Smith, but they'll be short of the first down. And you just watch these linebackers. They are just way more athletic. You see Coop, especially versus these linebackers in past situations, you've got to find a way to protect him. Danny Powell makes the catch. Skitters out to the... minutes to go they lead Purdue 39 to 38 this uh, turnaround for the Boilermakers under Derek right now the East appears to be shaping up as they go for it here for short yardage and get the first down but the East seems to be steamrolling Joey towards that Ohio State Michigan State game coming up in several weeks time and I think at the beginning of the season if anybody would ask ask what the East was going to come down Throws that one away. Right there. Better hands than Joey Galloway. <laughs> I won't I won't comment on that. Powell couldn't hang on. Right around the top four. We're just a couple of weeks away now from the unveiling of that first top 25 from the playoff selection committee. On third down, Rudock down the middle, caught by Smith at the 30. First down. Same situation, got in the second half and needed to make some plays and found a way to, to move the ball downfield. This is a little tougher situation, being down by 17 in the fourth, but we do know that Iowa can move the ball late in the game in these situations. That was two touchdowns in two minutes to beat Ball State. And now they've got it first. You give him a chance to survey your defensive secondary with nobody in his face, he can complete these downfield throws. Throws it out of bounds. Yeah, you watch Sheriff on the left side of your field. The, the bull rush has been a position. When I've watched him on film, it's been the bull area that Sheriff is going to have to improve as he goes to the next level. Rudock on the 10th play of the drive, and Martin Manley couldn't hang on. Wide open. Trips right, fires.
fires this one into the end zone, and it's caught by Hillier. Touchdown, Iowa. Four-yard strike, 258 to play. What a fair is there is nothing that likely he's going to be able to do with that ball. He throws that one on the road. On his 43rd. They're tired. 11 plays on that last drive for the Maryland defense. Receiver screen to the speedy Powell. Inside the 35 to the 34. They spot the ball and now the clock will start up again. Four-man pressure and Rudock has to throw it away. And Tensile grounded, offense number 15. Quarterback was in the pocket and threw the ball away in the area. There was no receiver. Lost the down, spot of the foul. Took it down. And that's in God ball laying behind the line. behind the line and went out. Rudock down the middle. Nice catch by Doozy, reaching behind his head. Rudock underneath Doozy. Gets to the side. To stop the clock and get the ball back if they can hold Maryland. Rudolph Powell's got it. Wins. Keeps it moving. Kujo Boja, the linebacker, makes the stop and keeps the clock moving. So they have to run another play to get their first down to get the clock to stop. Rudolph gets it. Now hustle to the line. A minute to go because the clock starts running. Cost them some seconds there. Rudolph. Good time. Catch is made by Doozy. Rudolph. I mean, Bullock out of the backfield, and that one was almost intercepted. Baron does a nice job because he realizes he has a safety behind him so he can shoot on this ball, take a chance at it, because the linebackers have been much better. Rudak throws that one out of the end zone on his 50th pass attempt of the... I would take one now, get that score out of the way, and then see if I can get another onside kick. Three-man pressure. Maryland will allow the catch underneath. Martin Manley gets out. So it doesn't get a first down, so it'll take them two, at least two plays to get a first down, and that works in Maryland's favor. Rudolph underneath again. Martin Manley, he will not get to the sideline, but he will get the first down. No. Rudolph taking his time. That cost him 10 seconds to get that playoff. Martin Manley dropped it. They're running downfield, running back. They start to run out of gas the more plays you run. Rudak, incomplete for Powell. First Sheriff, the All-American tackle, to have a chance to just pin his ears back and go again. Bullock turned to the inside. And down he goes. It's fourth down. You can't you have to go downfield and risk an interception. You can't take a five-yard gain. Rudak. Incomplete. There were two Hawkeyes in the same spot. Five seconds left in the game was what you wanted to accomplish. They just simply didn't go downfield with this football. They didn't use their, their size advantage um, in the secondary and just try to take some shots. You just have to take shots downfield. Even if...